Hey, it's Marco here from Fair Realty. So a couple of days ago, the BC government uh, came out with their new budget and there were a few things in there real estate uh, related. Uh, one of them was uh, the anti-flipping tax. This is gonna make no difference whatsoever in the marketplace. I think this tax is purely political. Uh, I'll make a separate video about that, but a couple of other items. Uh, the exemption for first time buyers for property transfer tax has been increased and the same for uh, brand uh, new builds. In this video, I'm gonna talk specifically about the first time buyer exemption. Uh, it's been increased from 500,000 to 835,000 for a full exemption and then a partial exemption up to 860,000. So let me explain the numbers. So at 835,000, if you're a first time buyer and you meet some other criteria, you're fully exempt from property transfer tax. So that's a savings of 14,700, almost $15,000. At 860,000, uh, there is no exemption whatsoever at that amount, even if you're a first time buyer, assuming it's not a brand new build, it's a resale, a real estate product, you would be paying $15,200 in property transfer tax. In between 835 and 860 is something called a partial exemption. So if you're somewhere in the middle of those two numbers, uh, you would be paying approximately $7,500 uh, in property uh, transfer tax. Uh, one of the tips I can give you here, for example, if you're negotiating on a property and you're a first time buyer and you meet the criteria and the seller doesn't want to come down below 840. Well, you're looking at thousands in property transfer tax. What you can do is you can write up the contract as 835 and via an addendum to the contract, you'll pay the seller as the buyer an additional $5,000 separately for the appliances. That way the seller gets the 840,000 they want and you as the buyer save thousands of dollars uh, by not paying the property transfer tax. Uh, this particular maneuver is perfectly legal as property transfer tax applies to fixtures and property, uh, not appliances, which are something called uh, shadows. So if you have a competent real estate agent working for you, uh, there is a way to save some money on property uh, transfer tax, once again, through legal, uh, legal avenues. Uh, what kind of difference is this gonna make in the marketplace? It's not gonna make a huge difference in the marketplace. It's gonna remove some uh, nuances in the marketplace uh, or change them. For example, right now I have a condo listed here in Victoria for 530,000 and I've been telling the sellers, hey, you know, we haven't had a lot of showings. Uh, if the price comes down a bit, let's say down to 499, we're gonna capture more first time buyers because the previous exemption, full exemption was 500,000. Well now, this condo I have listed at 530,000, a first time buyer gets the full exemption because the exemption's been moved up to 835,000. Uh, some other small nuances, I think it's gonna make it a little more difficult for people upgrading from a condo to a townhome because if someone has a $400,000 condo and they're selling that $400,000 condo to buy an $800,000 townhome, now they're competing with a few more first time buyers who might be looking at those $800,000 townhomes because they're saving almost $15,000 in property transfer tax. Because those first time buyers are saving $15,000 in property transfer tax or almost $15,000 in property transfer tax, it's gonna push up the prices of those townhomes a bit, maybe from 800,000 to 805, 810, because of that savings and uh, property uh, transfer tax. So there is gonna be a few market uh, dynamics uh, taking place. Overall, I do think it's a good thing because there was not a lot of product available for first time buyers that was under 500,000. Going up to 835,000, that opens up some nicer condos in Victoria, opens up a lot of townhomes. I would say approximately half of the townhomes in Victoria are under 835 and saving $14,700 on property transfer tax. That's a pretty big thing for a lot of uh, first time buyers. So overall, I think it's a decent uh, government decision. Isn't gonna change much? No, it's not gonna change much in the marketplace and it's actually gonna increase prices uh, of those townhomes a bit.